Hi there, my name is John Paulson, and I wanted to just take a moment and just kind of introduce myself and, and let you get to know me a little bit because there's so much going on in the world and sometimes it's hard to kind of get to know people um, and we don't really get a chance to actually meet people face to face that much anymore. And so how do you get to know people when, when you really don't get that chance to actually meet them? Well, my name is John Polson. I'm a real estate agent, but there's a lot more than that to me and my life. Uh, I'm a single dad. I'm a single dad to two teenage kids, and my kids have been through a really tough time over the last uh, several years, uh, you know, because they're teenagers, right? So teenagers go through a tough time. Um, t t ten years ago, uh, I went through a really difficult time following the Great Recession. I was a real estate agent during that period of time, and that was a really devastating time. Um, so there was a, a lot of difficult things, and as you can imagine, uh, you know, it kind of brought a real tension and turmoil to my family, and the, and the divorce ended up happening. So uh, that's why I'm a single dad. Uh, but I really love my kids, and I, and I really love my family, and I, very, I care a lot about people. So, uh, and among other things, I love being outdoors. So I'm really drawn to the outdoors. I love being outdoors. I love doing things outside. It's hard for me to sit still. I get really energized by, by being active and doing things outdoors. Sitting behind a desk is something that really kind of drives me a little bit crazy uh, because I really need to be able to, to be engaged. I really like working with people. Being, being uh, you know, stuck behind, uh, behind walls, behind doors, uh, and, and quarantine has been really tough for me because I like being out and, and being around people. I am a little bit of an introvert, but I actually uh, really need to be able to be around people and, and actually just being able to talk to people energizes me. So um, I'm really good with spreadsheets and um, I, I've, I've had jobs where, where that's actually been a lot of what I did um, and, and I kind of like it sometimes because uh, I'm an economist. I studied economics when I was in college uh, but I tell you what, <laughs> sitting behind a computer staring at spreadsheets all day is something that will actually star, starve my soul. I have had jobs where that is what I do is stare at numbers and stare at spreadsheets all the time and as much as I enjoy Excel, uh, staring at numbers and staring at spreadsheets is just not for me. So uh, I do love playing with numbers, investing, uh, understanding numbers and understanding investments and valuations, all that kind of stuff. It, it requires some calculations and spreadsheets sometimes. Um, you know, uh, doing doing calculations with uh, repair estimates and, and uh, after repair values and and uh, you know home valuations, all that kind of stuff. But um, I actually really just need to be able to be out in the world and and uh, you know doing active things and. and being in real estate really allows me to do that a lot. So I've been classified as a nurturer. So uh, I've had people tell me that, and, th and that's partly, I think, part partly my, my uh, personality type is, is somebody that is, I'm very empathetic. I can, I can sympathize with anybody's situation, um, but I, I very much care for um, m people that I work with. Um, I think that anybody that works with me will know and they'll be able to say very truly that uh, you know I'm going to go out of my way to make sure that their interests are protected. And that's my job as a real estate agent. Uh, a realtor, we pledge to a code of ethics uh, and that's one of the things that I really love about being a real estate agent is being able to look out for other people's interests. Um, I, need, I have a need to help people. I have a need to solve problems. So I love solving problems. And that's one of the great things about real estate. Real estate is not just about houses. It's more about people. And it's actually more about helping people solve problems in their lives. Uh, I spent 16 years, 16 seasons rather, as a soccer coach for my kids. Uh, I learned so much about nurturing growth and teaching uh, kids while learning even myself even more about myself while coaching those kids in, in those environments. So I love coaching, I love teaching, and that's one of the things I love about the real estate business is when I, have a, when I have a client, I help walk them through the process. I'm educating them through the process, whether they're selling a home, um, buying a home, maybe buying a piece of investment property or, or selling a piece of investment property or, or whatever it is that we might be doing together. There's a lot of things in a real estate transaction that I, can, that I have a lot of knowledge about. Um, uh, but ultimately, I want to help people. Uh, it's, it's a real estate transaction tends to be the largest transaction and, and the, the largest financial decision that most people make in their lives. So that's one of the reasons that I think that it's, it involves a lot of, of care and, and I want to I provide that for each and every person that I am there to help through the transaction. So um, as, a, as a real estate investor, I'm also a real estate investor. I understand uh, the, all the different things that you can run into, uh, the different outcomes. Um, I understand exit strategies, I understand you know, what, what the objectives of most investors would be, not necessarily inside the head of, their, of each investor, because each investor has their own objectives and, and their things that they want to accomplish in life, uh, but there's, there's exit strategies with each transaction potentially. Uh, there's things about cash flows, there's things about valuations, uh, ROIs, NOIs, 
cap rates, cash on cash returns. All these are things that, that I'm very familiar with and, and I love working with numbers, like I said before, uh, and, and doing uh, real estate investing is mostly about numbers. It's not an emotional decision. Working with residential properties, however, is a very emotional decision and that's where I can really help people uh, through their decision processes. Because I've been through a lot, because I've been through things with the divorce and we had to go through some very difficult times, there's, a, there's things that I have learned through that process that I want to be able to help people that are going through those similar type of processes. I grew up in the country as well. So when I grew up in the country, my first property that, that I ever had anything to do with was a property that my dad owned. It was 13 acres uh, out in the country outside of Blacksburg, Virginia. And we developed that property. When I say developed it, we, we did some clearing and, and we, we you know cleared a home site and we actually built a home on that property. It was really a, an enjoyable process. So I love rural property. I love working with rural properties. There's a specialized set of skills that are that are needed for when you're working for uh, with rural properties. So um, that's something I love doing. But there's people that are going through transition. Um, I've lost very, very important people in my life. Uh, so there's, I've been through a lot of those transitions as well. So whether you're going through a divorce or if you have a home that they've inherited uh, or a loved one that's passed away, there's, there's things that, that may need to be done that you need a specialist that can really help you walk through those processes and those situations. So um, that's me. That's a little bit about me. And I hope that I've given you something that will help you kind of understand a little bit more about why I'm in the real estate business. And if you ever have any questions, uh, please feel free to reach out and call me. I am, I am you know, glad to talk to you about things. I get pretty busy, so you know, I'll be glad to call you back if you're not able to reach me, but you can message me. Um, or you can reach out and I'll be glad to return your phone call. So again, my name is John Polson. I am a real estate agent, but I'm a lot of other things as well. So I would love to talk to you, love to work with you. And if you have a chance, please reach out. In the meantime, stay healthy, stay safe, and stay blessed.